In today's episode, we're going to be doing something a little different. We're going to be doing a cranberry apple sausage stuffing, which is really, really good. Our family has requested it, so we're going to be sharing that with you. And today we have a very special guest that's going to be helping me in the kitchen. And I'm going to be passing this information along to him so that hopefully next year I don't have the burden or the honor of doing this episode. Welcome to my guest. Hey. I'm not sure what I call special guests since I've been out here before, but I am special. Well, I'm looking forward to this. I think it's going to be great. No! What are you doing? Ah. <laughs> Roll that intro. to be using one onion but the onions that we got at the store are like tiny so we're gonna be using two onions Thanksgiving is all about family giving back and being kind to one another but most importantly avoiding at all costs making the turkey we'll show you how to make a killer stuffing and give you a way out of turkey duty disclaimer recipe will be down below and we'll probably skip a lot of steps third of a cup of parsley Here in this channel, we really don't stick to measurements, so this is one third. This is two thirds. I've come to find out that if you use this type of apple, I think, on, in our opinion, the recipe tastes better. So you can find this type of apple at Trader Joe's. We're not being sponsored by Trader Joe's, but the apple is called Envy, and I'm sure other places sell it too. So just pay it. See, what you want to do is buy apples from Trader Joe's and say, hey, this video isn't sponsored by Trader Joe's, but this recipe you're going to need two eggs. What you want to do is just brown the sausage first. <laughs> and you want to get the skillet hot first. <laughs> you want it to be about this brown and then you add all the veggies. I say cook it for another 10 more minutes because it's going to go in the oven so it's going to finish cooking there. Well, you got to preheat the oven at this point to 350. Trader Joe's Sparkling French Berry Lemonade. It's the closest thing to wine we have right now, so here we go. Again, I'm not sponsored, but... We could be. It could be. To Thanksgiving stuffing and to Trader Joe's, really. So I think... Oh yeah, sorry. I think... Oh, I'm drunk, oh my god. <laughs> Alright, so... You can turn this off. That looks pretty good to me. What do you think? Translucent onion. I'll eat it. Bring it from the fire. Directly from the fire and scoop it in here. And then you're gonna add the rest of your ingredients. You're gonna add your parsley. You're gonna add your cranberries. You're gonna add your apples. Then you're gonna do a nice scoop to get everything mixed in together. What do you recommend to make it crunchy? Less. If you want it more crunchy, put less of it. If you want it soggy, put more of it. So I like our stuffing to be crunchy. So we're gonna go with two first and see. You wanna just like kind of go like this, distribute it evenly. 
Oh, pro tip number 55. In Thanksgiving or any holiday, I recommend just using throwaway containers that you can just throw away because what's the point of using your pretty crystal containers if you're gonna have to wash them, right? Just get through it once and throw it away. It goes in the oven for 30 to 45 minutes and then it'll be ready. Now we wait. For how long? 30 to 45 minutes. And then what do we do? And then we eat. Mm, yeah. From the oven to the mouth. That's where you pull it off. Smell test. Oh yeah, it smells like Thanksgiving. It smells like cranberries. It's got like a bready, bready smell to it. It's warm. Yeah? Is it good? You don't like it. <laughs> I'm not gonna like it? No, it's just a bad batch. I'll take it off your hands. <laughs> mm. It's like apple pie, and then there's sausage in there, and then, like the hint of cranberry hits you. It's like your mouth is having a party, it doesn't know what to do. So good, here, come here. Okay, the whole thing. Mm. Thoughts? Mm. It's like bready and juicy, and then you get like the sausage, which gives it that nice salty flavor. With the cranberries, it's salty, and it tastes like apple pie. It smells like Thanksgiving. We'll put instructions in the description below. Yeah? We'll put instructions in the description below. You guys have to try this, you have to make it for Thanksgiving. Make it for Friday, make it for tonight. We're gonna eat it tonight with some food. We're gonna eat next it till days. Thanksgiving. Let us know if you guys end up trying this. If you do, let us know if you like it. Let us know what else we should make. Should we start a cooking channel? Is that gonna be a thing? Have we found our calling? Have you found your calling? Because yeah. I think I'm, I can be like the eater of the cooking channel. I mean, you need to find a better way of describing food. It's truly it's salty. It tastes like food. It's truly it's salty. It tastes like food. But yeah. Alright guys. Tell your mom and dad like, share, subscribe, and until next time. Gobble, gobble, gobble. Gobble, gobble, gobble. Crunchy, golden, amazing.